Greetings fellow mathematicians. Today brings an investigation about place value. Think about what you already know about place value. Talk to a friend about place value and when you're ready to share, do that. We've used fingers to investigate how we can describe teen numbers using place value. Let's use fingers to investigate how we can describe two digit numbers using place value. How could you show 24 fingers? Do you have enough fingers by yourself? How many people might you need to show 24 fingers? How many people will show tens? How many people will show ones? How many people did you need to show 24? Did you need three people? Why? How many fingers are two people showing us? Are two people showing us 10? Do we have two tens? How many is one person showing us? Is one person showing us four? Do we have four ones? What are we doing to the two tens and the four ones to make 24? Are we adding the two tens and the four ones to make 24? Let's record a place value chart. What are the values in our place value chart? Are our values ones and tens? Where do the ones go? Do the ones go on the right? Do the ones always go on the right? Yes, the ones always go on the right. Where do the tens go? Do the tens go on the left? Let's record our two tens in the tens column and let's record our four ones in the ones column. Here we have a group of blocks. How could we group the blocks using place value to count them? What are the values that we know in place value? Are the values ones and tens? Could we group the blocks into tens and ones to count them? Let's make a group of 10. Do you estimate that there are enough blocks left to make another group of 10? Let's make another group of 10. How could we describe these groups of blocks? Do we have some tens? And do we have some ones? Now that we've grouped the blocks into tens and ones, how could we count them? Do we have two tens? Do we have four ones? Let's draw a place value chart. Let's record our two tens in the tens column and our four ones in the ones column. What number have we made? Have we made 24? What does place value tell us about 24? Does place value tell us that we have two tens? Which digit in 24 tells us that we have two tens? Does the two tell us we have two tens? Can you see the two tens? Does place value tell us we have four ones? Which digit in 24 tells us we have four ones? Does the four in 24 tell us we have four ones? Can you see the four ones? What are we doing to the two tens and the four ones to make 24? Are we adding the two tens and the four ones to make 24? Could we describe 24 as two tens and four ones using standard place value? Let's investigate how we can describe 24 using non-standard place value. Let's break one of our tens into 10 ones. How could we describe 24 now using non-standard place value? How many tens do we have? Do we have one ten? How many ones do we have? Do we have 14 ones? Could we describe 24 using non-standard place value as 110 and 14 ones? If we read across the columns on the place value chart, can we see the 110 and 14 ones? We can't see the 110 and 14 ones by reading across the columns on the place value chart. So we've described 24 using non-standard place value in a way that can't be read across the columns on a place value chart. Could we describe 24 in another way using non-standard place value? Let's break our other 10 into 10 ones. How many ones do we have now? Do we have 24 ones? 
Could we describe 24 using non-standard place value as 24 ones? Can we see the 24 ones by reading across the columns on the place value chart? We can read across the columns on a place value chart and see the 24 ones. So now we've described 24 using non-standard place value in a way that can be read across columns on a place value chart.